person could get killed up here. Not that I need to worry about that, really. Oh, hello, how are you? Welcome to the Mask Fan Attic. All you mask fanatics, I'm Dr. Lady here in your face with another old, cool, interesting latex Halloween mask from back in the day. Uh, tonight, well, let's see. The first one I see up here in the old attic is the Griffin Gargoyle by Be Something Studios. Now, as you may know, Be Something today is uh, called Zagoni Studios. That's Z-A-G-O-N-E, like uh, Zagnut and then one. So think of Zag one. Is it? Never mind. The Griffin Gargoyle was available back in the 70s. That's right, the 1970s. Not the 2370s, but the 1970s. Which makes it an extremely old and extremely rare mask today. Uh, I love this sculpture. It's, it's one of the most detailed sculptures used to produce any mask from back in that time period. Uh, things tended to not be this heavily detailed and textured uh, to, to, to anywhere near this level back in the 70s. But by golly, the good folks at uh, Be Something, later Zagoni, were, uh, they were trendsetters in many ways. And this is one of my favorites from back in the day. And I'm, I'm sad to tell you, this one is on its last talons. It's very, uh, well, it's petrified. Um, can you hear that, folks? It's petrified with age. Look who's talking. Shut up. Yeah, it, like me, is petrified with age now, and it probably won't be around much longer. And boy, wouldn't I be happy if those people at Zagoni, formerly be something, would decide to reissue this design as a new edition for today, because this is such a great, great mask. Uh, had the light brown fur. Always looked like a female to me. I always assumed this was a female gargoyle. I don't know why I assumed that. It just sort of looked like a gargoyle chick, you know? But it was called Griffin Gargoyle. Um, not to be confused with Stewie or Peter or any other griffins you might know. Um, but very cool thing. Amazing texture. Tiny, tiny little uh, scales all over it. And well, like I said, mine's not in such good shape anymore. So we'll hope that someday be something slash Zagoni will reissue this gargoyle and in the meantime uh, just because mine is not looking so healthy anymore doesn't mean there's no chance that you'll find one you might find one on eBay or from some Halloween shop that has old stock uh, stored away somewhere so um, big recommendation from me for the old 1970s late 70s Griffin gargoyle from Be Something Studios, and now I think I better um, I better get out of here because I just got a feeling this attic is going to get real dark any second now. Thought so.